feel like rain in the morning Giving me mixed emotions And it's too much sometimes, mix the potion Mix it up, girl, put it in motion Welcome back to the channel. Thank you for tuning in. Today is going to be a very quick motivational cleaning video. I know it is the weekend. Everyone has worked really hard through the week. So you guys just want to relax, but I still want to encourage you to continue the productive motivating cleaning in your home. So today on the list, I made a to-do list. It is going to be cleaning the mirrors, cleaning the windows, cleaning the doors and apartments, and also just mopping the front room floor. So I hope this is enough motivational cleaning for you guys to continue to use in your home. So we're gonna quit rambling and we're gonna get started. All right, let's go you guys. All right, first on the list, I started doing my mirrors. I did do the one in the bathroom, but that clip must not have gotten put in here. Sorry about that. But this is the one in my front room, the smaller size. Then I went to the larger mirror that I have. Before I start cleaning that, I went ahead and dusted off the shelf because it was dusty. So I got that clean, but I'm about to start cleaning the mirror. I was thinking about putting this back in the front room, but I think this looks nice right here in this little walkway towards the kitchen. I do have a longer mirror in the hallway, but that will not be cleaned. I will get to that momentarily after I clean the doors in the hallway. Thankful that I did this this weekend because I was worn out from doing my laundry motivation yesterday. Um, we was at the laundromat, you guys, for at least two and a half, maybe three hours. It was a longer load, a bigger load this time. It took three large washers. I did 12 laundry bags full of clothes. Yes, believe that or not, it was a lot. And we still have plenty in our pantry. That's where I store it. Cause like I've said before, I don't have that much storage for everything, but we're gonna get it together. We're gonna get it together. Here is my son's door. I'm cleaning that off, just showing you guys. It was filthy dirty, so I scrubbed. Scrub, scrub, scrub. <laughs> Got as much dirt and stuff off as I can. Um, I do have to go to the store here soon and get some more of those magic erasers to get all the scuff marks off, but it looks way better than what it did. So now I have made it into my hallway by the front and side door. This is my daughter's bedroom door. I'm going ahead and clean that off the same process. Need some uh, magic erasers for this door also. The front door was really the worst one. I just don't understand how scuff marks get on there, but it is what it is. We'll get it taken care of. But yeah, that's all I'm doing right now. And then after I do the front door, this is where I honestly forgot to clean the mirror, so I'll be doing that next. It could be Dollar Tree, Dollar General, or Family Dollar. I need to pick up some magic erasers because a lot of these doors have scuff marks on them that won't come off. But yeah, are you guys like that? I know when I go to the store, I'm like, I got to get this and that. And I always forget this. That's just how it is. <laughs> We are down to this only window that we have in the hallway. So I'm getting that clean. This one was very filthy. Actually, all the windows was really, really dirty. So I was trying to get up to the 
smaller windows that they have in the top, which I'm too short for that, but I tried my best. And the ledge part was just very filthy. And also I do apologize for the lighting, but we do have two lights, you know, connected in the hallway, but they're the yellow lights and they're very dull and dim. So now I'm in the front room doing the same process. Um, I had my light on, try to open all the windows, same situation, but we're going ahead and getting it cleaned. I'm, like I've said before, glad that I've got this done. And you know, I know a lot of you guys feel like sometimes cleaning is overrated and you're just probably overwhelmed and overworked and tired of doing it, but it is a purposeful situation. It's a purpose, purposeful step that you need to take in your life. Not only does it refresh your home, it also helps with your mental health. And it's just an overall good thing to really do. You don't have to constantly do it, but as long as you're trying to do something around your home. Okay, you guys, we are getting towards the end of the cleaning motivation. I hope this helped you. I hope I am able to encourage you to still go around your home, areas in your home, and take a look and see what needs to be cleaned ASAP and start working on those projects. I appreciate each and every one of you. Happy Saturday. Have a great weekend, and I will see you guys on the next video. Take care, you guys. Bye-bye.